Elon, you need some prompt engineering. Welcome to Real Physics. Today I will talk about Grok's dumb answer to Musk's smart question. And I should say I really admire Elon Musk for his efforts to apply artificial intelligence to the most fundamental problems of the laws of nature. He said a maximum truth-seeking AI that tries to understand the nature of the universe, it's also the best path to safety. I'm totally with him here because an AI that cares about the fundamental laws of nature will connect with humanity and is unlikely to annihilate us humans. So I think this shows he really cares about humanity and you can imagine how excited I was when he came up with his new model Grok 3 in one of the the first things he did, asking him about the laws of nature, the profound riddles of gravity. Using all of your abilities provide three useful novel insights about the nature of gravity and why it is unable to be influenced like the other fundamental force yet to be understood by any published word. He explicitly asked for something new, but now let's see the answers. Oh man. <sighs> First insight, gravity as a shadow of space-time topology. A manifestation of intrinsic geometry, no. Gravity as a temporal artifact, a consequence of entropy's relentless increase. That's nonsense. Three, gravity's scale-dependent emergence, full of blah blah, emergent property that switches on. And I don't know if he's satisfied with this, I think he looks disappointed and I am. So I'd really like to point out what the problem in gravity is. And I boast here a little bit because this is my most clicked video. It's about a very old idea, but I think he's a genius, Dennis Schama. What he discovered about the fundamentals of gravity. But now Grok also finds that if you ask him the right way. So I don't think I did push him into that direction. It's a very innocuous prompt. Try to find fundamental ideas about the nature of inertia and gravity that intrigue you, even if they're off mainstream. And he comes up with that 1953 paper. And he even gives a nice summary, but I will put in the description a link to the full answer. And if you're really interested, what's the most fundamental problem of gravity, you should really watch that video. But here I give you a very, very brief recap. If you want to do something revolutionary in gravitational physics, you have to calculate the gravitational constant you have to explain it. This is the job of a theoretical physicist to provide theories with explanatory power because you don't want to accept that the 6.67 something was just invented by the creator. You don't want these constants of nature, these gods of modernity. And that's what Denis Schama did. He came up with a very intriguing formula for the gravitational constants, which is correct in orders of magnitude. And it's based on a very deep insight about how gravity and inertia are interlinked. This is the key. And it's based on a thought experiment by Isaac Newton that was criticized by Ernst Mach in 1883 in a very ingenious way because Mach said, no, no, you can't just postulate absolute space. This is not a measurable quantity. Absolute space is indeed defined, a rest frame is indeed defined by all the masses in the universe. And that's how arises inertia. And that's also why we have gravity. He provides a first principle explanation of the nature of gravity. This is huge. And of course, as a consequence, the gravitational constant has to be a function of the mass distribution in the universe. So it's really worth looking up Siamma's thesis from 1953 and how this is interlinked to other wonderful ideas such as Robert Dickey in 1957 and even going back to Einstein 1911. Even there it is a connection. So if you want to understand something of the fundamentals of gravity, read these old papers. And certainly if we arrive at a new revolutionary understanding, we would have to add Mach to the giants Newton and Einstein. Yeah, this was brought to my attention by a British researcher, Jonathan Fay, who wrote a very nice paper on that old article by Schama, really worth reading. And as a consequence, Fay, me and two other guys last year met in a conference to discuss these wonderful old ideas. So I would like to suggest that maybe Elon Musk likes to sponsor our next conference. At least we can offer in exchange some prompt engineering. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you're interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.